This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection and service. The SteelSeries Siberia line of headphones has got to be one of the most popular gaming audio lines on this planet. They are actively engaged within the esports community, they know exactly who their target audience is, and I would say they price the Siberias accordingly at $79, which is that sweet spot for value gaming audio. The Siberia 200 is the successor to the Siberia V2, with 7 color options available, we have the Alchemy Gold in our hands today and it follows in the footsteps of a very familiar structural body with flexible adjustable headband the low profile tubes that carry the cable from one side to the other and the very light and plastic construction that feels just okay right now as brand new but it really is a matter of time until long-term effects might show up as with common issues with the Siberia v2 headphones were the microphone issues or one of the sides not passing audio it's one of those things that still series says they are improving and from what I remember it feels practically identical to the V2s. The ear cups have a bit of swivel and the flexible structure will adjust accordingly to your head. Now for me the size wasn't an issue but for individuals with wider head the clamping force will definitely be too tight. Although the Steel Series has done a great job with the thickness of the ear cushions that I initially thought will be way too thin, but my ears remained comfortable without touching the interior drive wall. And temperature was also not an issue, you know, I mean occasional air brakes are needed, but to the most part the Siberia 200 breathed a little bit. I love the low profile hidden and extendable microphone stashed away on the left that is always on and can be muted via the inline remote that can also uh, control the volume of the headset and I find that very convenient and it's perfect length away from the headset. The one strange part I found during the lowest volume tow is still hearing the audio to come through. So there is no way to mute the headphone unless it's done through your source. And this is what the microphone sounds like. The quality is absolutely atrocious. I mean, it will allow your teammates to hear you, but this is by far the weakest factor on the Siberia 200. The cable here is not braided, but it is very light and non-intrusive with separate mic and headphone jacks at the end with a splitter included to be used on mobile or the combo jacks on notebooks. Now the testing of this headset comes at the perfect time with the Fallout 4 release that has a fantastic sound atmosphere. And for reference, I first tried them on with the HD 800 to hear the sound stage, to hear sort of exactly all the elements, all the detail within the environment, and then put on the Siberia 200s just to see what was missing, what was the sound stage like, how was the bass responding, and uh, just to see exactly how the detail would also resonate within this $79 headphone for reference versus something a bit more expensive. And I was uh, honestly surprised and I was satisfied with what I heard. And that is because SteelSeries has always delivered a bright sound signature to pick up footsteps and create a situational awareness through a semi-wide soundstage. And this headset is no exception. Just walking in Fallout 4 and just closing my eyes, I can feel the sense of scale and the decay and the blowing wind and the distant firefights with all complementing warm bass that overpowers just sometimes, but in majority of playthrough is there to emphasize the power of a laser musket or the thud when you come down in your power armor. But then it was time to jump into CSGO and test my sound reflexes and again the bright treble extension is excellent to detect incoming footsteps with good stereo separation letting me feel the direction of incoming fire and that's really all I'd ask for a gaming headset. The soundstage is semi-wide, it's not open but that's okay, it actually preserves more audible detail but in sacrifice of a more closed audio space. So the Siberia 200 manages to deliver a satisfactory audio experience for games. I do wish though that SteelSeries would open up the ear cups for a wider soundstage and I really have nothing to complain about in the audio spectrum at this price point. The bass is deep with occasional muffle but as the full package this headset pretty much has it all. Although they seriously need to improve the microphone quality. 
And so that wraps up our review of the SteelSeries Siberia 200. Let us know which gaming headset you'd like us to review next. I'm Dimitri with Hero Canucks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.